the most powerful name in local news. Fox 5 News at 10. A top 10 American Idol alum stops in the metro area to inspire a group of visually impaired up-and-comers. You may remember Scott McIntyre, who's visually impaired himself. News Edge anchor Tom Haynes spent the day at a jam session of sorts, and he's here now with that story. Yeah, Tom. guys, Scott McIntyre getting oh so close to becoming last season's American Idol. He is legally blind, but has never lost sight of how far he's come. Scott in Atlanta share his story with young people who are also visually challenged and shooting for the stars. He wowed the judges on last season's American Idol. He was brilliant. As the first legally blind finalist on the hit Fox show. Scott McIntyre may have been eliminated, but he's never forgotten how he got there. How are you? Tom Haynes with Fox 5. Hi, nice to meet you. Good to meet you, too. I met Scott at the Center for the Visually Impaired in downtown Atlanta. He was there to inspire a new generation of legally blind young people who are also reaching for the stars. But this, this song was kind of my uh, theme song for American Idol. Yeah. Scott tickling the ivories for this small group the way he did for millions of idol viewers. And tell me what this means to these kids. It's hopefully, um, you know, just a ray of inspiration to them and an example of what they can do with their lives. Getting to see Scott perform and answer their questions is also the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm hoping that more blind people will get out there and, you know, be inspired by him and be, be able to, you know, do big things like he did. For them to meet someone who is famous is very exciting, but also to know that he shares the same vision issues that they do. Scott didn't win American Idol, but he says he's become something bigger, a role model. And it's an honor for me to now come to places like CVI in Atlanta here and, and really support and encourage um, these kids in their dreams. Scott is also busy at work on a new CD. He's writing a new book, but he tells me he's never too busy, Amanda and Russ, to make stops like this to help visually impaired kids the way he was when he was a kid trying to make it in show business. So nice of him to give back that way. And he says he's always glad to do it. He flew all the way out here, by the way, from Phoenix, Arizona, where he lives, to spend time with these, these young children who also have a visual impairment like he does. Got to pass it on, right? Mm -hmm. Thanks. Absolutely.